All right, guys, so today I'm in the Infiniti uh, G35 here. I was told last time my mic was a little weird, so try and speak up this time so you can hear me better. Uh, today's video is about five things I wish I knew about the Infiniti G35 before I'd gone and purchased it. Now, if you follow my channel or know me at all, you probably realize that this is my favorite car in the world. Like, this is my dream car, is the G35, so I mean. Obviously, I still like it, but these are five things that are kind of a heads up to either a new owner or if you're considering one. And they're kind of ranked in order of how much they annoy me. Uh, kind of have to do with the perception and the community as well as the actual vehicle. Uh, if you see me look at my phone, it's because I put some notes on there. Because uh, anytime I make a, uh, a video that actually requires intelligent conversation, I tend to get about halfway through and then forget what I'm saying. Uh, I'm sure you can you can relate. So uh, to start with, I don't need the notes though. To start with, this has got to be something that I hear a lot is crankshaft positioning sensors. Okay, the crankshaft positioning sensors are not not a big deal. Um, no more than any other car. Yeah, sure, they go out. They're a big job to replace, but it's not like this particular platform uh, is any worse than all the other platforms that car enthusiasts are into. Like, if it goes out, it's uh, it's a job you do on the engine, but it's nowhere near uh, catastrophic or something that you shouldn't buy the car for. Uh, they're not that expensive. Uh, when all is said and done, you can do all four of them. Um, yeah, so crankshaft positioning sensors are something that a lot of people will shy away from this car for. Uh, number two is oil consumption. Anytime you talk about G35s or look on the forums, you'll see that people are like, okay, the oil consumption is cars, they just burn through oil, they eat up all the oil, the oil consumption is terrible. Uh, I'm here to tell you that that's really, if your G35 is eating oil or burning oil, you really need to get that checked out because uh, it shouldn't be. Either there's something wrong with your car. Uh, as a whole, the platform does not burn oil. Um, I maybe top off my oil. I do my oil when I do my oil changes. If I take a long road trip, I will check the oil. But the VQ35 HR engine has very little oil consumption. The earlier models might have had uh, more of a problem with the oil consumption, but at least for the later model years, they uh, they completely solved that issue. It's not does not apply. Uh, number three, uh, no one is gonna understand that a Skyline and a G35 are the same car, or that a G37 and a Skyline, or a Q50 and a Skyline. So don't even try to explain it to them. It'll end up with a lot of confused looks. Uh, a lot of people think that there's something wrong with you, but yeah. Uh, when I obviously was looking at buying the car, I knew it was a Skyline. So that was like one of the, one of the reasons I loved the car and really wanted to buy this car. You look it up, and it's the 11th generation Nissan Skyline. It's a v V36 chassis. Um, in Japan, you go over to Japan. There's no Infinities. They're all called all the G35, G37s. They're all they're Skylines. They're just the newer models of Skylines. They're different than the older ones. They have V6 engines instead of inline engines. Um, they have obviously, uh, well, actually, the Atessa all-wheel drive and the um, ooh Hikus. Hikus uh, four-wheel active steer, that stuff carried over. So you can still get them with that stuff on the on the G35, G37 models. Um, people overcomplicate it. It's really not complicated. They're just a model of it. It's like just, it's no different than the older Mustangs or, you know, they're different than the newer Mustangs. A Fox body Mustang and a current 2020 Mustang, they're both Mustangs. They're just, they're built different because they're built at different times. They're different models of Mustang. But yeah, that's as far as I'm going to go in order to attempting to explain that. I have some buddies over in Japan, and they were telling me, they were trying to teach me stuff even more about it that I was not quite getting. Apparently there's no Q60 in Japan. There's no two-door uh, Infiniti Q60. So they were telling me that that's not considered a Skyline. But the Q50 is, but it's the same car. So that one, I still have to talk to them about because I did not quite understand that. I got to talk to my, my buddies in Japan. Okay, uh, continuing on, what's number four? Everyone is going to try to race you, no matter what. I mean, you're driving down the road, there's going to be a racer in a Civic, Honda Civic, pulls up next to you, and is just slamming on the gas, bouncing off his rev limiter for no apparent reason. 
You're just going about your day. You're drinking your coffee. You're going to work. And this guy's just over here. Looking over at you and then takes off at two miles an hour. Uh, Mustangs are no different. Mustangs are going to do the same thing. They're going to slam on their gas, scream their engine next to you. You just have to put up with it. I mean, you just don't pay attention to them. It's not a big deal. Um, or go to the uh, private track or the drag strip, you know, on Friday night drags, the wild horse, and uh, where you can legally race and go smoke them. That's another option. Then they won't pull up next to you anymore and just rev their cars out. Yeah, that's pretty bad. All right, let me check. I know I got one more point here. I was only four. I got five points. What is the last one? Oh, the 2009 G37 is identical to the 2007-2008 G35. All the parts are compatible. So, um, obviously, it's got the different engine, BQ37 VHR versus BQ35 HR. But you can use anything off of it for the G35, which is great. I wish I knew that so long ago because it's really hard to find compatibility or parts for the late model G35s that are that are compatible so that if you can expand your search and look at the 2009 G37s, it helps so much. Okay, I hope you learned something from this. Uh, it's on my blog. I posted it on importlife.blog. Um, if you're thinking about picking up a G35, G37, I hope you at least found this interesting. And uh, you know what? I'll catch you next time on Import Life. And if you didn't find it interesting, that's, that's cool too. But, you know, I got a lot of fun videos. So hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you next time.